Hi guys, I'm Smita and welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things AI and machine learning related. In today's video, we're going to be looking at machine learning projects, all the way from beginner machine learning projects to expert level ML projects. And we're also going to be talking about what exactly defines a good machine learning project and how do we get it to an expert level. So let's get started. To start off, I want to introduce you guys to this chart that I've created, which clearly defines what, did, what exactly is a basic to expert machine learning project. Now, I have personally been in the machine learning field for many years, and after working on a ton of different projects and also looking at various different projects that other students have done, I was able to understand what exactly helps to differentiate a basic level machine learning project to an expert level one. And that's why I've created this chart. So feel free to use this chart if you guys want to, but I would highly appreciate if you can give credit. So let's actually go ahead and take a look at this evaluation chart of ML projects. So the first factor that we're looking at, the first trait is actually scope. So when I'm talking about scope, I'm talking about the scope of the project. I'm sure you guys have heard about the famous housing price prediction using simple linear regression. This is one of the most basic machine learning project that you'll come across if you have done any sort of ML course out there. And this is a very basic one. And the scope of that is also very general. It's a very generic scope because it just com comprises of just a housing market and you could apply that to everything. And it's not really specific, but let's take a look at this one right here. So this is something that I would consider an expert level machine learning project dealing with something quite similar. Machine learning for causal, causal inference and application to air quality impacts on housing prices. So Jenny, uh, Jenny Ho, the person who has done this paper, essentially she has used machine learning to study the impact of how air quality actually impacts housing prices. Now, I would say the scope of this is much more niche. It's much more specific. And this is what defines a expert level ML project like this one compared to a very generic and basic level ML project. So that is scope and that's number one. The second thing is depth. So depth refers to the type of ML algorithms which are being used. When you're looking at some basic ML projects, the depth is pretty low. Uh, you're using very basic ML algorithms and you have not really done much specification. You have not really customized it to your data set or to your problem. But for expert level ML projects, you are oftentimes using quite highly advanced ML algorithms and you're also customizing it to your data set and problem. Next up, we have data. Data is such an important aspect of any ML or any data science related project. So let's look at that. For basic ML projects, I usually find that they use a single data source. So that's a very, uh, that's a very common thing that you would observe when you're looking at basic ML projects. When you're looking at intermediate level, you can see that they are using multiple data sources. But the thing which expert level ML projects do, which helps them really stand out, is they are using multiple data sources, but with backing. And when I'm talking about with backing, I mean that they have evaluated and explained and calculated exactly why they are using these different data sources and how meaningful each data source is for a certain prediction to work. So that is what I am referring to. And also they have done proper integration and cleaning of multiple data sources. Next up, we have visualization, which is also very important. And oftentimes I wouldn't say that this is 100% applicable because we see a lot of amazing ML projects, which don't really focus that much on the visualization aspect but it's nevertheless quite important and that's why I've included it. For when it comes to basic, uh, basic ML projects, the visualization is quite basic. So pie charts or et cetera, what have you. And they might not actually be quite meaningful to 
the problem itself. So when it comes to intermediate, we would see mid-level visualization. And with expert ML uh, projects, we will see very meaningful visualization. Next up, results. Results are also an extremely important trait. As with basic ML projects, we often find that the, the, the results are actually quite low impact or they're completely not applicable at all if the project is just just a project for its sake. For intermediate uh, ML projects, maybe you would see medium impact as in, you know, maybe there have been articles which have been written on the results that of that certain project or this has been featured uh, in some sort of publication. So that would mean that this is an intermediate level uh, project. And with expert level, we're talking about high impact, meaning maybe there has been some change in decision making because of the results of your project, or it has impacted a certain group of people and there has been a high impact. But this is actually quite vague. Uh, results can mean very different things across the board. But I would say that the results trait is quite subjective. So depending on how you're approaching it, it could be high impact or not. So that is definitely something to consider. And last but not least, we have cloud model deployment. I noticed that with both basic or intermediate level ML projects, Oftentimes, we don't see any cloud model deployment, as in the model has not been deployed into the cloud so that it can be easily used by other developers out there or other ML engineers. But with expert level projects, we often see that that's the case. For example, some of the most famous uh, computer vision algorithms out there, for example, YOLO V, those have been deployed and you can easily make use of them. Now that we have looked at the evaluation chart, I want to talk about some basic examples of some machine learning projects all the way from basic to expert level. So let's start off with the basic examples. So for basic ML projects, we have the classic housing price prediction. That's a great basic level ML project to start out with, especially if you're a beginner. The second one would be Google search analysis. That's a great one to also start out with if you're a beginner. You can pick exactly what type of topic you want to search within Google search. You can be slightly more specific. That could definitely help. And the last one is image recognition or classification. Some of the most classic data sets include the MNIST uh, numbers numerical data set where you can identify, where you have like pictures of numbers and you create a machine learning algorithm, which is actually able to identify exactly what number that is in that picture. So that could, these are all great ideas for basic machine learning projects. Now moving on to intermediate level ML projects, we have something slightly more complicated and that includes a recommendation system. So recommendation systems are not exactly the easiest to build. So that's why I've included it within the intermediate ML projects, as you definitely need more in-depth ML knowledge in order to execute this. The second type is NLP text to summary system. So building a text summarizer, that's a great tool. It's also a great project to have on your portfolio, but that's also something that you could deploy as a proper service itself. The third option is fraud detection system. This is also great. And it's up to you to choose the type of data set that you wanna work with. If you wanna look at financial fraud, there's tons of different ones. You can be looking at loans, you can be looking at credit. Also, also to note, this list is not exhaustive. It is simply some examples. So there are a ton of different projects out there and some of the best projects that you guys can do is actually projects that you think of or projects that you find interesting. So those would be some really good project ideas to pursue. And last but not least, let's talk about some expert level ML projects. So one of the most interesting projects that I personally find that this is something worth doing is identifying wash trading on Binance using machine learning. So Binance is a cryptocurrency exchange. It's one of the most famous ones out there. 
and wash trading is a common problem which exists in crypto where traders artificially inflate the value of NFTs or tokens by wash trading. So being able to identify that using machine learning, that would be an amazing project. And that is definitely an expert level ML project because you would have to deal with networks and much, much more. So the depth of ML is certainly there. The second uh, ML expert ML project idea is content moderation system for TikTok. So that is also a great expert ML project idea because TikTok is an upcoming, TikTok is a really big social media platform and content moderation is very important for a lot of different social media platforms. And with TikTok, especially where there's so much content being uploaded, I think content moderation that is actually built using machine learning would be amazing. And this is definitely an expert level ML project. And thirdly, another great idea is a customer assistant bot for food delivery app using machine learning. So any food delivery app that you guys can think of, you could build a customer assistant bot using ML for that specific food delivery app. That would also be great. A lot of these food delivery apps have APIs that you could make use of in order to get data and create this customer assistant bot. So this is worth looking into. Also, I think uh, you guys would have noticed by now is that the expert level ML projects are a lot more specific, a lot more niche. And that's actually what makes them expert level projects because you are really focusing down onto a very specific problem. So guys, those were just some of the best ML projects that I personally can think of and also I personally came across. But this table that I have created is a great way to evaluate your own personal ML projects that you plan on doing or those that you have already done. And you can take your basic ML project that you might have already done and you can try to get it to an expert level by making it more niche or following some of these traits that I've listed out. So let me know what you guys thought about this video. I hope this video was helpful, especially for you guys who are struggling with coming up with ML project ideas. I'm sure this is going to be a really good video for you guys. Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video.